Okay, give me some interesting facts about the pyramids. So, they were built 4,500 years ago. The, the Great Pyramids of Giza are situated on the west bank of the Nile because that is where the sun sets and it signifies the realm of the dead. Um, although these are the most famous and the biggest pyramids in Egypt, there are actually 130 other pyramids scattered around Egypt. Um, hieroglyphics is heavily associated with ancient Egypt. However, inside the pyramids there are no drawings or markings inside the Great Pyramid. They used to have like a white glittering limestone casing around them but they don't have that anymore because possibly because it's stolen or destroyed in earthquakes. Um, and I think that's about it really isn't it? So here I am on the balcony of the hotel the Steinerberger Pyramids Hotel or something. But look over there. That is what is going to be the Grand Egyptian Museum. Meant to be finished in 2023 at some point. And over there, behind these buildings, are the pyramids. And that's what we're going to go and see today. But let's have a look at the room. What do you think of the room? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. It's about 100 and. 20 pounds a night. Yeah, nice, nice location, we think. And we're going to do something which is unusual because most people get a tour guide and they pay for that. We're going to do this by ourselves. We're going to try. We're going to try because over by the pyramids it's notorious for the touts. We're going to give it a go. Well, we can practice from Marrakesh Casablanca yeah. avoiding this. Let's see what happens. Just no. waiting for the taxi. So we have decided to walk to the bloody pyramids, about a 40 minute walk because the Uber driver kept on going around in bloody stupid circles and then another taxi driver kept on coming to us, you need a taxi, I work for the hotel, I will take you, but yeah, no thank you. People have already been scammed, be, people have already tried to scam us three times, three different people. Yeah. I'm talking to tongues. Three different people have tried to scam us already and we've only been out of the hotel about 10 months. Yeah, so now we're going to walk. I think we are approaching the ticket office and we've got a guy just saying, you have permit? Another scam. Scam number five. Yeah. So we just got through a bit of a gauntlet down there. They're all waiting to get you into this bit to do a camel ride. No, thank you. Just the pyramids. <laughs> a scrapyard and a pyramid. Right, we've infiltrated the main gate and now we're going to go over there to join the queue which we reckon is going to be Scammer Central. Thank you. Thank you. Well that was surprisingly easy. Uh, 480. What's that? Five times three. 15 pounds for both of us to walk around but we could have paid more to go inside one but we're not going to bother. And we're through. That was like that was easy. Really easy. I was a lot the, the scammers were pretty easy to shake off, and they were obvious. So yeah, that was easy. Don't need a tour guide. Walking in the land of the pharaohs. What are your first impressions of seeing the pyramids then? Um, they're actually a lot different looking than I was expecting them. What were you expecting? I don't know, I was just like, I don't know, I was like I wasn't expecting it to be so... Like see the way that one there, see the top of that one. I thought they were all going to be like the top of that one. Yeah. But they're not. However, I'm delighted I'm at the pyramids because this is like a bucket list place for me. I've got a scammer here. Swindler, swindler. Watch out for him as you walk in. Ticket swindler. Let's <laughs> catch <laughs> Welcome in Asia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you want to go on a camel later? 
I sell you for camel. Maybe bad camel, unhealthy. You tell me for camel. I tell you for camel milk. Look how big they were. Right up to the pyramids. So I read that climbing on the pyramids is illegal and dangerous. Some people have died falling off, but that's obviously not an enforced rule. Enjoying yourself up there? Where are you from? Where are you, um... You want to come a ride? You get offered these camel rides all the time. Uh, where are you from? Hello, nice to meet you. Are you from Brazil? They thought I was from Brazil. And they thought Celine was from Russia. Yes. Right, we're coming up to scam. Oh, here we go. Straight away, camel. So the trick is just don't make any eye contact. Is it camel? And do not converse because the, because the the language the language is. Yeah, it seems to get a bit of dialect. That's yeah, the dialogue you sort of. You're going to end up partying with money in your wallet. And these are the pyramids of Giza. Oh. All right, love. You want some cockles and spaniels? Do you want some cockle jelly deals or find something like that? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go down Camden. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful to see a wonder of the world as picked by Stevie Wonder in 1962? So one, two, three, little one, four, and then over there on the distance, and you can see it, like maybe four or five more. They are pretty good. It's worth a trip. And I would do it by yourself, you don't need a guide. So most people, when they imagine the pyramids, they imagine like this and then the pyramids, which it is. But you don't imagine Cairo just there. Like when we were driving in on the taxi in the taxi yesterday evening, Salim was like, oh my God, there's, the pyramids are there. Like it's just in the city. I'm like, yeah, I know, it's so unusual, isn't it? Salim's getting some attention there from the uh, local little girls. She just hates this whole thing. I don't mind. It makes me feel a, little, like a bit like a rock star. I don't understand. We're at, we're at one of the seven wonders of the interworld. People want a picture of me. I don't understand. Yeah, why well, don't they want a picture of me? <laughs> so this guy's trying to sell Celine a little scarab beetle made of some little material, but oh, she's but not interested. <laughs> Buy one. Buy one of the many gifts from the artisans of the pyramids. You are rude. Rude. I'm not sure bright blue plastic is an artifact from the pyramids. Oh my god, what do you like? Can you see the three wise men in the distance? Three wise scammers. But now we're going to try to find the Sphinx. And we have found the Sphinx, behold, with its nose blown off. I think by like by French troops at some point. Could be wrong about that. What do you think of it? The nose. Yeah, it's great. So now we are heading out and we're gonna get the last chance saloon sellers. But I think the scammers are uh, not as bad as I thought. But I think we were to my worst. They are pretty bad though. Like if you fall for one thing, you're done. That's it, you're done for. We were just very aware not to fall for it. Yeah, don't shoot tickets to anyone apart from at the actual metal detectors on the way in. one time and that's it. Yeah, anyone else who asks for them. is probably a scammer. And just don't talk to anyone. Yeah, That's the big much. trick. Just just ignore them. Just don't even acknowledge any, them. Any just... Yeah. Goodbye, Pyramids of Giza. Goodbye. We were worth the 15 pounds. Because now we're going to head downtown Cairo to the museum. Uh, no, thank you. You want a cameo?